Good evening. Leading our news bulletin for tonight, the Public Health Division has notified some residents of Alufi South to boil water due to contamination. New youth leadership aim to reunite youth groups and push youth development work forward. The Rally of the Rock went ahead, but organisers want to generate more local participation in future. Queen's birthday holiday attracted fisher folk down to Uluvehi for the Marine Day and Reef Fishing Competition. Some Alufi South residents are now boiling their drinking water after the Health Department released notification that there had been some contamination. Public Health usually carry out water tests at all the water tanks and bore sites on a quarterly basis. Health officials held a meeting last week and decided to give public notice on Friday based on contamination at one of the sites that provides water to some areas of Alofi South. The areas that have been, infect, have been affected include the LDS church area up to Tapil, Funuakula, Hui Hui, the airport area and Kaimisi. There were also tests done yesterday and results should be available by tomorrow. For an update of the situation in Lofi South, the Department of Infrastructure will also be working on cleaning the water tanks of bores, and once that is done, the department will test it again. The Health Department will advise when drinking water from the tap is safe to drink again, and residents have been reminded to tune into Radio Sunshine for updates. Local youth groups have made a decision to vote for new leadership of the National Youth Council following their annual general meeting that was held two weeks ago. The new management committee have a lot of work ahead of them, but the six-strong team have a refreshed vision in moving youth development forward. The annual general meeting was held on Thursday, the 25th of May, and the committee met last week to discuss way forward and to prioritise tasks. We spoke with the new president or chairperson about their vision for the next three years. The first priority, I guess, is to bring all the youth back and uh, into one um, mission, as I would say. Um, the new committee, six of us, uh, should be able to do that um, in a relatively short period of time if there is um, a genuine uh, need and a want from, from the youth groups, which I encourage them to, to come come together and, and then we'll uh, in this journey together and we can um, map out a way for the youth of Onyue and uh, provide those, um, those, those aspirations to the government or whoever uh, is interested in, in promoting the life and the work of the youth on Onyue. Um, plenty of work to do. I mean, we're, we're working on the constitution as a priority to start off with. Um, sort that out and then from then on We'll um, look at things like the calendar, um, what else, the, the managing of the, the property, which is the new youth council. And um, I'm just very excited to uh, be working with um, like-minded um, individuals. And as a team, uh, we should be able to, to bring all the, the youth leaders especially uh, back together so they can express uh, their visions for their villages and, and, and for their personal aspirations as well. The opportunities um, that have been lost or missed uh, in the last couple of years because of the fragmentation of the, uh, both the leadership and uh, um, the youth groups in general, um, that needs to change. And uh, with the new committee, uh, there is hope that, that we will uh, change that uh, both in the attitude and the way we uh, um, our relationships with those youth, youth groups. Uh, the opportunities are there. Um, whatever plans you have for your for your group or your village, um, there is no harm in bringing them forward and, and bringing them to the table together as a as a council, a youth council, and then we can talk about it. And then all together as a as a team, look at opportunities to, to plug those gaps, as you may call it, whether it be financial or equipment-wise or 
know, whatever the plans the youth have, um, we, can, we can work together. The committee will work for a term of three years and are hoping to be able to bring groups back together to help support youth initiatives and the youth agenda nationally, regionally and an international level. More than 10 competitors were up bright and early to compete in the Rally of the Rock event organised by the New Tourism Office that started in Mutalo. The mountain bike cycling race took competitors through a variety of bush tracks and main roads for what was originally a five-stage race, but this year they have added a newly incorporated stage through Vaya, Fosio Dwai and finishing at the top of the hill going to wash away. Fifteen people registered for the event, but only 12 turned up to the start line. But it was hard luck for one cyclist who had a flat tyre after the first leg and could not complete the race. There were only four local competitors this time round, and newer tourism are finding it challenging to find ways to encourage more local participation. For the event coordinator, Michael Fuhinu, she said the event went well with the help of a good group of volunteers but there is always room for improvement and they hope that with each event they can find ways to attract more competition. The fastest time went to open men's competitor Ash Rogers who managed to complete the whole course in 1 hour and 42 minutes, a record for Rally of the Rock. Although some people left today, there is still another event that is the Round the Rock that will be held tomorrow. Registrations are still open until 6.30 in the morning and the race will start at 7 a.m. at Hiktavake. Uluwehi Sea Track was busy with eager fisher folk fishing off the reef and collecting seafood as part of the Marine Day fishing competition that has been held on Queen's birthday holiday for more than 10 years now. The annual event was slightly hampered by a clash in events with the Hakupu Marine Day that meant most of the canoe fishermen were taking part in that event, but the event at Uluvehi proceeded as normal. Early morning, people set up their food stalls, and as flows of visitors came through in search of food, drinks and relaxation, the day was spent in a fun family environment. By midday, the first lot of catches were weighed in, with more than 25 kilograms of fish caught in total, while just over 40 kilos of seafood and seashells were collected. A rather productive day for those who participated and each participant received a plate of food for their efforts and stayed on for the prize giving as a conclusion. They were rewarded with cash prizes of up to more than $1,000 were distributed at the event and the village council thanked all the sponsors and those who made the event possible. It went relatively well and there is hope for more participation in next year's event. And that concludes our news bulletin for this evening. Do join us again for our next news bulletin on Thursday.